morning time here. I just woke up. <laughs> so if I look crazy, I look crazy. But I woke up with a thought in my head. Um, and I just have to speak it out. Um, yesterday I met a very nice young gentleman. He seemed pretty young. Um, and um, for some reason, out of nowhere, I don't even know where this came from. Well, he was my dryer. my, <laughs> You know the underwiring in, in your bra? Um, women know what I'm talking about. Um, it came out of my bra and my draw and my dryer, and I be well, this is what my theory anyway, and I believe it got stuck in the pan, where um, in the pan where, where the uh, where the where the lint cleaner, you know, where you, where your lint where you get the lint off of your um, off your clothes, you know. Where you clean the lint out of your dryer, um, I, I believe that's where it got where it got stuck, and it was making this horrible, loud clinking noise. And so, um, I had to go get. I had to have somebody called out to get my dryers, and they, and um, have it sent off to get it repaired. And so, this man he brought a loaner dryer to me, and out of nowhere, he brought up the the conversation of God, right? To my husband and my husband was talking to him and you know anywhere that I'm listening to you know anytime I have an opportunity to talk to God about somebody I go right in there I was like what are you guys talking about he's like well I don't believe in hell and at first I was taken aback I was like why don't why don't you believe in hell he said because if God loves us so much why would he ever send us to hell I said well do you remember Lucifer um he said, yeah, I know who Lucifer is. And I was like, do you know what he tried to do? He said, yeah, I know what he tried to do. He tried to be God. I said, yeah, he did. And so God sent him along with his fallen angels down to hell. And that's how, you know, that that's how hell was created. And um, I was thinking, you know, the reason why I believe in hell is because I myself was headed there. <laughs> I myself was headed to hell. Um... Because of the things that I was engaging in and the things that I was doing, I was a sinner. I was headed there. I was headed there. I have a testimony of myself going, not, not that I've ever been to hell or that I've ever seen hell, but I know because the emptiness that I felt before, the vanity that I was wrapped up in, the materialistic things that I was wrapped up in, the alcoholism that I was wrapped up in, the fornication, the adultery, um, the bad person that I was, I was off to hell. <laughs> and when I cried out for my soul, God did a 360, changed me. And now, and, and now I became a follower of Jesus and now I have a peace and a joy and, and, and a, um, a peace and a joy and a relationship with God that I wouldn't trade for the world. God, a spirit is, indwells in me and I've given my testimony. So I gave him my channel so that he would um, start following my channel to give him some hope. Because what I admired about him so much is he was so young and he said that he, he pursued all of these different religions, trying to figure out the religion he wanted to be in. But that was his mistake, I told him, because... Man has created religion, man has created Christianity, man has created Pentecostal, man has created Catholic, man has created paganism, you know, man has created all of these different religions. But I said, as long as you claim to be a servant of God and a follower of Jesus Christ and you confess that he is your Lord and Savior, then that's what you confess to be, a follower of Jesus Christ, a, a servant of God. You don't have to put a label on it. You don't have to put a name on it. You don't have to say, I'm this, I'm that. Um, in in the Bible, Paul said, don't do that. Don't claim that I follow Paul or I follow Peter or I follow this or I follow that. He said, none of us died for you. Only Jesus Christ died for you. And so that's who you claim to follow is Jesus Christ. You pick up your cross and you follow Christ. I told him I recently came out of the church system as well because they teach you religion in the church system. They teach you to be religious there. And that's why I believe that young man was confused. 
because he was trying to seek all of these different religions, not seeking a relationship with God. I told him, get in your word, get in prayer, and don't seek any other human beings. Seek God for yourself. Get a relationship with God for yourself. I just made a video on this yesterday. He will give you and lead you into all truth. The God, the Holy Spirit that is inside of you will teach you what is the truth. And he will teach you what is not the truth. And so that's what I told him. So anybody that says they don't believe in hell, you've got to teach them the truth. You've got to teach them what is right. And there is a hell. I was headed for hell. That's how I know hell is for real. Look around you. All of the corruption, all of the people that choose to hate God and not follow God and not even give a two hoots about God. Those people are headed to hell. And that's why hell was created. <laughs> because there are so many people that are trying to play God. There are so many people that don't love God, that, that, that shun God's name. And though that's where that's what hell is waiting for those people that do not care. No, it is not God's desire for anybody to go to hell. Yes, he loves us all. And that's why he's trying to save us through his children, through his word, through his holy spirit. He is trying to save as many souls as he can save. But you got to want to be saved in order to be saved. God did give us the free will. So if you don't have a will or an ear to hear, then you are definitely, there. there's a place waiting for you, and it is hell. There is a place waiting for you. And I didn't mean to try to scare that young man, but he also needed to know that there is a hell. There is a hell. There is a hell, guys. It exists. It's where Lucifer and his fallen angels have gone. It's for anybody that will not obey or choose to turn away from God. Is waiting is waiting and so the only way that you're gonna know that there's a hell or not is if you get into your word and have an ear to hear the word faith comes by hearing by hearing the word of God okay so that's why it's so important for us to seek a relationship with God for ourselves that way when we have these questions that come up we go to God and we ask him God what is the truth? Show me all wisdom. That's in James chapter 1. If you lack wisdom, all you need do is ask and God will give it to you. Whatever you are lacking, God will give it to you. Through the Holy Spirit, Jesus will give it to you. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. Nobody get, I am the life. Nobody gets through the Father except through me. So that means you've got to go through Jesus Christ first before you even get to the Father. Because you have to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Jesus is the one that pleads with the Father to give you the Holy Spirit. Or that, that, that intercedes with the Father to give you the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is what teaches you and what gives you wisdom, what guides you into all truth. And so if you don't have a relationship with God, you, will, you, will have, you, you, you have to get a relationship with God. That's just the point blank period of it. You have to have a relationship with God. And God is love. God is everything. He will teach you anything you need to know. Any question you may have. Don't continue to ask everybody else. Ask God. He lives inside of you. If you claim to have the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will teach you. And he will guide you into all truth. You don't have to ask anybody else. All you have to do is ask the Holy Spirit within you. And he will give you the answer. God will give you the answer. I've done a video on this as well. God will give you the answer. And so, get your relationship with God because He does love you and He wants to show you some things. He wants to show you some things. Okay? I love you guys. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.